Good morning again. I want to thank Grace of Heaven, Virtue of Enlightening Masters, and confidence placed by all of you for the opportunity to learn to talk about universal salvation. Anybody has any idea what it means? So these are my agenda.、Uh, what is universal salvation, and what brought about universal salvation?、Uh, I'm going to talk ab about this.、Um, Why, from two aspects: the elapse of time and the external circumstances, and also we、we'll、talk about the auspiciousness of universal salvation, and finally our mission in universal salvation. I'm missing one word here. <laughs> okay, so what is universal salva salvation? Um, it's actually um, the salvation of the three realms. Or in other words, you can say the universal propagation of the Tao. Okay, and the three realms refers to the celestial, celestial or the temporal heaven, and then the human realm and the underworld. So in Chinese, universal salvation is San Tao. Okay, so we know the San Tao refers to those three realms. And then Pu means、um, widespread or universal,、um, leaving no one. Okay. And then Du is to ferry. Okay. So it's to ferry or salvation to ferry to the other shore. Okay. Now, so the universal salvation、um, in detail, it you know, in, includes the uplifting of the spi of the spirits. Of the celestial heaven, the deities, divas, and in all galaxies,、uh, we are probably familiar with、um, like Maju.、Um, some of us、uh, who know Chinese are more familiar with this,、um, the de the diva. Okay,、uh, and we also know that our grand predecessor uplifted、uh, one of the Chinese, the ancient Chinese scholar from the Song Dynasty. And those are all examples. There are so many examples,、uh, if <laughs> we understand Chinese. And then the human realms、um, is saving males and females, or ladies and gentlemen who are trustworthy and peers or pious in the world.、Um, it's just like what we、uh, lecture Kai talk about: people who have affinity with Buddha, people who have faith, and people who have、um, the、uh, The willingness、uh, to receive the Tao, to cultivate the Tao, it also、um, should include people who have very good,、uh, you know, virtuous ancestors, people who have、um, good virtue, and people who have、um, cultivated、um, for at least three li lifetimes in the past. Okay, so these are、um, the salvation of the human realm, and then the underworld. Uh, it's the uplifting, uplifting, uplift the wandering spirits and ghosts of the underworld, and、um, we know that if we cultivate ourselves well enough, and we also, if we also have、um, like fairy, or, or、um, we are able to bring enough people to receive the double blessing at the temple, and also with some.、Uh, Probably financial support or contribution, and with the approval of、um, the senior transmitter, the post,、uh, you know, the presiding transmitter, then we are able to uplift our parents who are deceased, who are in the underworld, who didn't have an opportunity to receive the Tao when they were alive. Okay, so this is the uplifting of the underworld. Okay,、um, so. Talking about the three realm, okay. So we all came from absolute heaven. Okay, that's on the top.、Um, we sometimes when we talk about the different、um, different、uh, realms, we think they are like they are separate from each other, and like the the temporal heaven is higher up, and we are in this middle, and the underworld is、uh, beneath us. But this is not really the case, you know. All these three realms they intermingle,、uh, so. But this is not a very good picture to say,、uh, to to really、um, describe or to depict a word, you know. It's really like maybe 
about senior lecturer, I would like to uh, explain further about the, the ROMs. <laughs> Well, I, mean, mm -hmm. I think in Buddhism they, they do kind of describe more as like uh, concentric spheres, mm -hmm. you know, of Buddhist mm -hmm. well, I mean, basically, yeah. I mean, you can say the underworld is at the, s at the lowest, you know, level. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, we're on the earth, we're on the surface of the earth, but then, like, the, you know, if, if that's like the center, and then, like, down <laughs> within the earth is the, the underworld. Yeah. Okay, obviously not in physical form. Okay, so that's again that's a spiritual realm. It just means it's the lowest level. Yeah, lowest of, level. Of, you can say of, of being, yeah. of existence, and, and, of some kind of existence. Yeah, and then okay. you know, so the various diva worlds or celestial realms are above, right? Because they talk about distances actually in Buddhist you know, <laughs> yeah, cosmology. Yeah, they, they talk about the distances, you know, how far away and then yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, Yonga, you know, you know, yeah. how far above is yeah, the yeah. other level, you know, whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know, that might just be a, a convenient way to yeah. try, try to describe, to describe it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so from our point of view, yeah, we can talk about it. But, but yeah, the, everything is within the absolute, the Dharma Dhatu, the absolute yeah. realm. Because everything is contained. It contains that, everything. Okay? Yeah. So there's no nothing beyond that. Mm -hmm. So all the, this whole universe, this space, is all contained within that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then the various celestial heavens are within that. So. Um, how we want to describe, you know, different levels, whatever, that's, that's fine. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, you can say in terms of space, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's all, it, they all intersect. They're all intersecting, okay. So, yeah. so you know, the... Well, they're all, you can say they're all connected. You can well, say the, yeah, I mean, you can say they're, I mean, if you say that they're, you know, one's concentric, then obviously they all they're intersect all within, yeah. you know, that center. Mm -hmm. um, so... Uh, yeah, so there are spirits around us in this, what we call in our world, and we can't see them because you can say they're on a different plane, okay, of existence, mm -hmm. but they are also around us, and, you know, so, so that, that's, yeah, so there's that intersection of space mm -hmm. and, and time, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, okay, now before we talk about the um, you know, the evolution of time, elapse of time, and also the why uh, the propagation of the Tao becomes uh, universal, becomes widespread. Uh, we'd like to talk about a little bit about Tao. Uh, last week, uh, Carrie talked about the introduction <laughs> to the Tao. So we know Tao is the root, the origin, and the source of everything uh, that we can see and, you know, things that we cannot see. Okay, um, so when Tao applies to um, the cosmos, it's you can say it's just the rules and the principles that governs uh, the, uh, the 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 you know the operation or the well the development the um, progression of everything in the cosmos. Okay, uh, when it applies to nature, it's like geography. Okay, we have the season. Um, we have and also the um, what do you call? Uh, mm. What is that? I forgot. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like what? We have the climates, climatology, or there's another word. A, a very technical term. I forgot. What are you talking about? Uh, climate. Clim climate. Climate. Huh? Meteorology, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, also the geography, okay. And then when it applies to uh, human society, then it's the social morale, the ethical standards, okay. And when it applies to each individual, it's our Buddha nature or our true self, yeah. And so everything has to follow, has to be in accordance with the Tao. When, when um, we say the, uh, the, the heaven works along the, the path of the Tao, then everything is in very good order. In, uh, you know, the sun always rises, in, <laughs> I mean, and then always sets in the, uh, in the west. Uh, and there's also a very good order of the season, and there will be also a very good um, weather pattern. Uh, and when it applies, to, when the, the earth uh, follows the Tao, then, um, the sun will f blossom, you know, all of our plant plants of our vegetations, they will also throw, they, uh, thrive and grow. Okay, uh, when p 
people in the society all follows the Tao, then it's going to be a very uh, harmonious, a very uh, progressive society, right? But when when everything goes against the Tao, then you, you see all the chaos and disorders. And this is how we are now. We all came from the absolute heaven. Uh, we all came to this world with such innocence and purity. Um, but as time elapsed, and as we get further and further away from our true self, from how our original um, state of existence, then we accumulate a lot of, uh, you know, faults, bad temperaments, uh, attachments, and so this all cover up our Buddha nature. And so we are very much governed and dictated by our human nature. And so we, we see how, you know, this world has become now, you know, every day, almost every day, you know, bad news will grip the headlines uh, of newspapers or medias. Um, you know, there's so many natural and also man-made d disasters. I, 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 I'm, I'm sure you know more uh, than me in this regard, okay? And that's why, um, you know, um, to, in response to the external circumstances, Tao is transmitted um, very differently for, um, in different periods, whether it's from one to one or to the present day of the universal uh, propagation of the Tao. And in some, time, in some period, Tao is not so um, conspicuous. Uh, it's kind of more in a very uh, subtle state of uh, propagation. Uh, transmission. Uh, let's first talk about the um, briefly talk about the uh, different periods of uh, Tao's uh, propagation. Now, the first one is the Green Period, and it's about 1900 years. Although I think many times we talk about 1500, but I think to be more exact, it's about 1900 years. And at that time, Dick Palmkara Buddha was in charge of in charge of the heavenly post. Um, Lecture Kai also mentioned uh, that in the previous class. And in that period, because uh, remember, this is like the beginning of uh, the, well, human civilization, or, you know, Tao's uh, spreading, or, um, you know, the, lin the start of the lineage of the Tao. So at the time, um, people were very pure and innocent. Um, so other people, they were very, very kind at heart, although they have a more of a beastly form, you know, not, not so handsome or so beautiful looking at, good looking at the time. But yeah, inside their heart, they are very pure and very uh, innocent. Um, at the time, uh, Tao resided with uh, emperors and kings, and it started with um, the first patriarch, which is Fuxi. He is the one who discover the uh, eight tri trigrams. Remember um, Yi Jing, right? The Book of Change. Uh, so, and, let me see what else I want to talk about. So at, in that, in that, at that time, you know, um, it was the emperor who got the transmission of the Tao, uh, because in, you know, they were very virtuous. Uh, they were all concerned about its their subjects. And that's why in Chinese, um, the emperor is often called Tianzi, which means the son of heaven. It, it means, you know, how good they were. Um, and, you know, they have that uh, capability, uh, that uh, readiness to govern the world. And then... Um, Actually, uh, there's something that's not showing on the screen. Okay, so in that period, there were there were you know nine nine disasters of the flooding, right? Okay, this this mark uh, that uh, green period, and then uh, it comes the uh, red period, and they are about four thirty something hundred years. So it's uh, from 1100 BC to 1905. Uh, so it's not just 3,000 years. And at that period of time, Shakyamuni Buddha was in charge of the heavenly post. And there were 49 patriarchs, okay? Five scholars in China, 34 in Buddhism, okay? And of the 34, 28 in India and six in China. And we talk about, remember, 
the beginning of last class, the sixth patriarch. So he was the last patriarch uh, mm. of the Buddhism, uh, 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 Zen master in China. And then there are the ten secularists. Um, and so at this time, at this period, um, Dao was uh, Dao resided with the re uh, religious leaders, scholars, and even commoners. So they are among the secularists. And in this time, this period, there were 18 major calamities in fire, okay? Uh, remember that we have the World War I and also other you know, regional conflicts and wars. And then time evolved into the white period. Um, so this, the transition to the white era um, is from 1905. Okay, so this is the start of the white period, but a uh, universal propagation of the Tao began in 1930. Okay, when um, our 18th matriarch and patriarch and matriarch uh, got this mandate from you know, heaven. Okay, and so in this period of time, Maitreya Buddha Miller was in charge. Of the, is in charge charge of the heavenly posts and we know he incarnated as the 17th patriarch um, which is all we call also as uh, Jin Gong Zhu Shi okay so it's because of um, um, you know the if evolution of a time and the, so the historical um, uh, circumstances so uh, in our Tao began from um, the started from or evolved from the one to one transmission to finally uh, the universal propagation in our period now the um, universal propagation of the Tao was also um, was also possible because remember um, you know these are the the social or the external circumstances we find ourselves in now you know first the human conditions okay um, we talk we have talked about the vulnerable truth um, or the vulnerable truth uh, uh, by uh, Shakyamuni Buddha and the first truth is what life is full of suffering yeah and so what kind of suffering there are four basic sufferings that nobody can escape if he is a human being if he or she is a model, okay? So what are, what are they? The four sufferings? Uh, Birth, uh, aging, aging, sickness, sickness yeah. and, and death. Yeah, okay. Um, and then um, there's also the poverty and famine that we, we see, you know, in some parts of the world. And associated with that is also the inequality and social injustice and wars and conflicts, crime and violence, accidents and unexpected disasters. Um, so you can say all these are, we can, everything all boil down to um, the last one. It's the greed, anger and ignorance, the three poisons. So everything boils down to that. Um, if we if we have all these three poisons, then um, everything above um, will always uh, exist. Okay, uh, you can also say these are also the burdens of our, the five scandals. Uh, do you remember the five scandals? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Form. Mm -hmm. Perception. Mm -hmm. sensation, per sensation, perception, 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 volition, mm. and consciousness. consciousness. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Because if we have this five scan, still have this five scanners, and so when our six portals come, uh, come into contact with the outside world, then we always have the what we call the six consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and also. Um, with the three poisons and all this, um, you know, the six conscious consciousness, we're going to have a lot of, um, you know, our dualities, like and dislike, you know, acceptance and rejections, and uh, you know, hate, love, uh, jealousy, envy, uh, you know, longings, uh, 
you know things like that like this, then it's going to always create some um, contradictions or some conflicts with other people. Um, so if you look at all these uh, worldwide um, troubles, uh, you know, conflicts, uh, it all hinges on you know the greed, you know, the greed, anger, and the greed and anger. They all rise results from the ignorance. If we can see everything, uh, all this form as non-existence, or we say the uh, kong, right? Uh, then they're not there forever. Uh, we don't if we don't get um, attached to all these forms. Uh, they you know some of this um, just some convenience for us to um, to live and survive in this world. And some of them we might you know be able to use them uh, as the as a tool for us to maybe uh, cultivate. Uh, but s m more often, human beings are very obsessed with uh, you know the. Uh, over obsessed with all these materials, um, you know, uh, craving for the uh, comfort, uh, for um, all these um, material uh, pleasures, then it's going to always subject us to, uh, you know, the karma, uh, creation of karma, and all the su sufferings. Okay, so because of all this, uh, of humans, um, human nature, and all the um, we say ignorance of the three poisons. There are so many calamities in this world. And so um, sometimes we feel it's like heaven is punishing us, but really it's because of ourself, our own, um, our own uh, force that's creating all this uh, trouble, uh, both natural and uh, man-made, okay? For example, greed usually, do you remember, <laughs> Carrie? <laughs> what does what does greed uh, translate in terms of uh, disaster? Greed. Greed. Yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> because because of human beings' greed, then what ki what kind of um, disaster it's going to bring forth? Uh, Water. Mhm. Mm Yep, and then resentment or anger is what? Fire. Fire. And the last one, ignorance, is what? Wind. Yes, such as hurricane. Um, um, so because of uh, the, the cor cor what we say corruption of human heart and also the uh, degeneration of social morale, so there's, the world is really sinking. Um, so, but they are also good people. Remember, we all came from absolute heaven. We were dispatched to this human world to help govern this human world. But as we are further and further away from our, our original home, we, lost, we forget about our Buddha nature, our true nature. Um, so in different periods of time, according to a very vague number, there were about 916 million, million right? of us who came to this to help govern this world. But during the green and the red period, periods, um, only 200 million souls were able to go back to the absolute heaven for, for, for each period. So there were so many more that are still in this human world, you know, reincarnate, reincarnating, going from, you know, um, we say endless uh, cycle of life and death. Okay, so there are still good people in this world, and that's why um, um, our Heavenly Mother um, bestows this, uh, descends this uh, Tao to, to uh, people who have the uh, affinity, people who have the faith, and people who have the willingness um, so that they can um, cultivate, uh, they can be at point awakened to their Buddha nature, and they can cultivate, they can help govern this world, really help with this world, uh, and restore the order of the world, and finally they can all return to this, um, to our, our original home, which is the absolute heaven. Okay, so this is also the ox, um, the oxymoron of, well, actually, it should be <laughs> paradox. Sorry, <laughs> that that's a, a wrong word. Uh, paradox. It's a words of different uh, contradictory meaning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't like paradox. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I changed. I 
think you are, you, I used the wrong file. Okay, well, science and technology, okay, so this is, in our time, science and technology is developing at an unprecedented fast pace. Yeah, but almost on the same, uh, to the same uh, extent or degree, uh, humans' morale is really slipping. Yeah, so back in the uh, 1920s, there was this uh, um, French humanist, uh, Francois, who said, science without conscience spells the ruin of the soul. So um, the science is so developed, it can do good things, but it can also be, you know, used to do very, very destructive things like, you know, weapons of mass destruction, nuclear weapons, atomic um, missiles, things like that. Um, and, you know, like we use, we can, Nowadays, the um, tele telecommunication is so uh, advanced, but there are also people who are um, abuse their, that technology to hurt people, right? They took, they, 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 they steal the uh, people's IDs and their financial information. Yeah, so, uh, but technology cannot solve the, pu the uh, problem of human, you know, human beings. Uh, so that's why uh, Mencius uh, said, when the war is sinking, save it with Dao. And so that's why we have this uh, pro universal propagation of the Dao in this period. Okay, so what are the uh, auspiciousness of the universal salva salvation? Uh, okay, first, the deities of the celestial realms. Okay. Um, these are these are the people or uh, these are the beings who did a lot of good things when they were alive. Um, like they are martyrs, um, they are the heroes who save people, uh, or you know serve a country. They sacrifice their life serving the country, uh, but they did not have the opportunity to receive the blessing. So they were able to go to the celestial uh, heaven, uh, enjoy people's you know worship. Uh, but they still, when depending on what they do, um, they have a cer certain period of time of um, staying up there. But when the uh, the period is up, they they will have to go back to the cycle of reincarnation. Yeah. But in in this era, because of this universal uh, salvation, they are able to also receive the blessing. Um, do um, you know? People who have affinity with them. A very good example is the General MacArthur. <laughs> have has anyone read this book? Okay. Well, we know that he was the uh, commander in chief, right? Uh, but he was uh, before this lifetime. He was. Uh, he was uh, ambassador of, uh, you know, the U UK's ambassador in China. And at that time, China was also in some kind of war. And so uh, I think he was in, no, I'm sorry. So he was uh, uh, an UK ambassador in China. And there was um, his benefactor, his benefactor, um, uh, Master Wang, who was uh, in charge or who was helping handling uh, the foreign affairs, and he they knew each other, so they have some kind of a comic relationship from the previous life, and so I think it was uh, at that time China was in some kind of a war, and so this uh, official was saved by. Um, General MacArthur's, uh, you know, previous life, uh, the ambassador, uh, he had to flee from the country because to 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 kind of um, he was under some kind of uh, persecution from the the Chinese government, and so General MacArthur took him in in the you know what do you call the uh, the residence of the ambassador the embassy, yeah. The embassy, and he also took the entire family of Mr. Wang to his um, home in England. Okay, so they have this good affinity from the previous lifetime, and so in this lifetime, uh, General MacArthur, I think, because of his um, merits, being uh, you know the um, commander in chief, he was able to go to the absolute to the celestial be uh, heaven. But then this. 
he was able he was um, uplifted by this his benefit uh, factor because Mr. Wang because uh, Mr. Wang was saved by General MacArthur. So in this lifetime, they I don't remember <laughs> how they uh, met each other, but he was able to he was uplifted by Mr. Wang, and so that um, this is the the. Um, the reunion scripture by General MacArthur. You can read, read it for yourself. So there are many examples of this um, celestial beings, uh, being uplifted by, you know, their benefactors who have some kind of good relationship with them. Uh, and so, how about the human beings? The, the auspiciousness of a human being are uh, being able to. Um, Receive the Tao. We have talked about this, you know, the uh, benefits of receiving the Tao. There are so many here. And I, th I would say the most important thing is that when we receive the Tao, then we are awakened to our Buddha nature. And that really um, is the most important thing because then uh, we know what our Buddha nature ha has. And when we act, act in accordance with our Buddha nature, then uh, whatever we do, uh, should be proper, uh, so that's the most important thing uh, to you know to realize that we have this Buddha nature and that we should really um, act in accordance with this uh, our Buddha nature. So we are able to save ourselves and also we are able to save others. You know, um, realizing uh, this uh, the preciousness of this Tao, and and so we can help bring about the world of great harmony. Um, there are also, you know, the uh, beings from the underworld who are uplifted by, you know, their worthy uh, descendants, their like sons, daughters. Uh, in the case of transmitter uh, of good virtue, they are able to uplift their grandparents. But for, you know, people uh, who are just, I would say, uh, ordinary uh, cultivator, we can only uh, uplift our parents. And here's one. Here's one. Okay. This is this is uh, how we you know this this diagram talks about uh, or this shows um the uh the universal salvation of the Tao. Can would anyone like to talk about this? So without receiving the, receiving the Tao, then we usually uh, we are in this material world, and depending on what we do, then we. Sister Chen, would you like to talk about this? Hmm. Well, when we receive the Tao, we can transcend mm -hmm. the cycle of reincarnation, mm -hmm. going to um, and can go straight to absolute heaven. Um, if we uh, continue cultivating and do what we're supposed to do. And um, so um, our an if our ancestors are still in uh, underworld, they can benefit from us. And we can, if we have enough merit, we can uplift them uh, to absolute heaven. Mm -hmm. And, um, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so actually, um, sometimes, uh, you know, from people from this human world or from this living world after they pass away, they may also, this error is, is wrong, mm -hmm. okay, uh, they might able to be able to go to the uh, celestial heaven or the temporal heaven, yeah, but after, you know, like I said, um, if they they are up there for only a certain period of time, when the time up is up, then they will go back to um, the living world, human world, or they might even go to the underworld, depending on what they do, how they behave themselves in the celestial heaven. Okay, yeah. So, um, so this shows how precious uh, Tao is. So with receiving the Tao, we can really um, transcend all this uh, life cycle. We can also um, skip the, uh, you know, the celestial heaven and go back directly to the absolute heaven. And here's one um, 
Okay, this is um you know Ying Guang Master Ying Guang. He is the same master. He cultivates himself so well. He's so such a well known mas Zen master, uh, in China. Uh, he also you know rec could recite so many sutras, but he when he when he passed away, uh, he came with the um, the accompaniment accompaniment of a holy teacher. Uh, to talk about you know how he regret that he didn't he didn't have the opportunity to receive the blessing. So no matter how how well he cultivated, he was he will still be subject to uh, the reincarnation. Yeah. So and here's one by immortal hand uh, on the auspiciousness of um, the uh, universal salvation. Uh, I have fin I've translated most of it, but uh, I. I think I haven't done the more. He said, pointing by enlightened master illuminates our true nature and elevates us from samsara. Um, and the dragon certificate en enlists us in the register of the absolute heaven. So these are all this auspiciousness or extraordinariness of receiving the Tao, okay, or the universal salvation. And the third is heaven's mandates and dust lineage is characterized by the transmission of the essence. Wei Chuan Ben Ti, okay. Ben Ti is the essence in confidentiality. We know that we the, the transmission of the Tao is not done publicly, okay. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, if we have people, when we have a Tao ceremony, if we have people who are not who have not received the Tao yet and who are not ready to receive the Tao yet cannot be in presence. Uh, and then the three treasures are cultivators' guidelines and the ten vows are certificates for us to return to the Absolute Heaven. Um, and then he said the principles of Yiquan applies to all religions and from this essence is derived a myriad of functions or applications. Um, and cultivating within family or society, help ourselves and also others around us. Uh, and then transform viciousness to kindness, inspire our conscience and ability, and awaken us to Buddha nature. Uh, number eight is set up body and mind at ease, resolve doubts and vexations, and purge the three poisons. So receive, when we receive the Tao, then we know we have this Buddha nature um, that we can always fall back on uh, and always give us that, you know, peace of mind and all the confidence. Yeah, and, you know, by attending all these classes, we are able to resolve a lot of, you know, questions and doubts and also get rid of a lot of vexations, unnecessary you know, worries, and also help us uh, eradicate the three poisons. Now, universal salvation of the three realms concludes our mission. So if we can help with this, um, uh, with this mission, uh, with the universal salvation, then we really uh, have finish complete our mission and fulfill our vow and so we can all go back to our root um, and then he says people of different foundations he said so people have we say right? people with different foundation and different levels of um, cultivation they that equally nourished by the Dharma dues okay 法语. Um, and also he said our 30% sincere efforts are matched by Buddha's 70% help. Buddhas are always there to help us resolve karma and fulfill vows. Yeah, they're always with us every step of the way. Um, and when we receive the Tao and build merits and virtues, our ancestors and descendants are also benefited. Uh, I have to go back to the Chinese. Um, okay. So the last four, last uh, two, Chen Xian Zuo Fu. So um, becoming Buddhas and uh, saints, uh, even we are, we are able to uplift our, we are able to um, benefit our ancestors and our descendants. Descendants. Uh, this way, they can also elevate. Um, or avoid samsara, okay, so we all enjoy this, you know, heavenly bliss.
or you know have heavenly blessing. Uh, so the last one is Yuan Man Jia Guo Li Yun Da Tong Yi Feng Yi Shu. So um, because we receive his Tao and cultivate, then we are able to harmonize and stabilize our family and our country. So we can change all the you know bad, we say Feng Shu, um, bad habits and customs, and the you know and also the general um, atmosphere, so social atmosphere or ambiance. Uh, so we can bring about a world of great harmony. Okay. You know, there's a story I like to, a short story I like to um, share with you. You know, there was a very uh, well-known speak uh, lecturer, or his uh, transmitter, Cai Cai Changjun. Is he a transmitter? His his. Transmitter. Okay, he has a brother who, who is very, um, very interesting. He would go to all kinds of temples. Although he also was like coaxed to receive the Tao by his uh, brother, who is a transmitter now. Um, but he would go to all kinds of temples and cultivating communities, except our type of temple. Uh, so one time he had a surgery. Um, and he, it was a very bad one, so he kept uh, bleeding, and you know just just didn't want to stop, and so he used he recited sutras, he used all kinds of um, what do you call uh, Mantra. mantras, didn't help them with the bleeding, and then finally he said, oh, I still have my final resort, and so he used the three treasures, and guess what, the the you know the bleeding really stopped. And so it was after that that he has, you know, he has uh, that kind of uh, faith, and had, um, and he go back, to, he he go back to temple afterwards. And we also have heard so many, you know, revelations, so many um, stories of how the three treasures have, have helped us. <clears throat> okay, so I talk about our mission in this universal salvation. Okay. Um, so Confucius once said that all of, of all that heaven has produced or created, the greatest is the man. Okay, so we are so lucky to be born in this. I, I mean, of course, it's better that we don't need to have this human form, but but this is the best possible you know um, living existence that we can you know. I can I, I guess we can expect it at this time so but we still are the greatest and human beings are really the nearest to becoming enlightened to be being a Buddha and we also have talked about um, the four difficulties in uh, attending the Tao right and so the first the first difficulty is what a to be a human it's I mean, the, the chance is really slim. When you look at how many animals there are, how many insects there are in this world, you know, when, when you go, go out to some more rural uh, areas uh, where they, they might have farms and you can see how many of the uh, uh, you know, other animal, animals there are. And I think last time, we, our senior lecturers also <coughs> talked about you know, um, the chance of becoming a human being, it's, it's like, you know, you drop a thread from the highest mountain in the world, and this thread is going to run through the, the eye of the needle. It's in the nose of the eye of the needle. <laughs> and there's also wind blowing. What's the chance? So, yeah, so we have this human, uh, we have the... We have uh, <laughs> the luck to become a human being in this, li in this lifetime. We also have this awareness. Uh, we also have this ability to cultivate. So we just have to make the best of this opportunity. Okay. And Confucius also said it's the man, it's man who promotes the Tao. So we can promote the Tao because why? We are the only, we are living beings who can talk, right? Yeah. Um, so it's not the Tao that promotes man, but of course we, you know, we can. Uh, Tao provides us the guidelines, you know, the orbits, the track, uh, t for us to uh, to progress on. Uh, so we have to be grateful and make the best of this opportunity. You know, having uh, this few, having this uh, human um, existence, and having uh, come across this. Uh, 
final phase or final stage of the universal salvation. Uh, and we also have encountered the what? Enlightened Master. Yeah, remember we talk about we have talked about the four difficulties. <coughs> uh, so we have to try to try our efforts to learn and cultivate the Tao and attend to Tao duties. Uh, so in order to do that, we also have to elim eliminate, sorry, eliminate our faults and temperaments. So this is like the step, a uh, first thing for us, right? First step, we have to get rid of all these bad habits and bad temperaments, uh, so that we can start revealing the, you know, the the goodness in us. And we also have to perform kind deeds uh, and nurture our virtue because we all. We all have some kind of karma. If we are, if we are, we have we are, have zero karma, then we wouldn't be here. <laughs> and as Shlesha Kai pointed out, even Buddha or Bodhisattva, they all they are still they still have some kind of uh, karma. There's a a very famous uh, Buddhist Buddhism um, saying that you know, one fa jie kong, yin guo bu kong. So all dharma, no matter how marvelous they are. They are really. T how do you translate that? One fa jie kong. Actually, it, you can say they are not, not even permanent, right? Because some of the dharma applies to uh, this group of people or in this uh, uh, right. social. Condition. Yeah, yeah this condition. condition. Yeah. Right. Okay. Condition is always changing, so that's why we say jie kong means that means eventually it's it don't, they're not real, they're mm -hmm. not true, they're not everlasting. Maybe that's mm -hmm. a better term. Not mm. everlasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said that. The, mm -hmm. They're not yeah. lasting. They're, yeah. not, they're not eternal, right? Mm -hmm. All the Dharma, one Dharma means everything. All Dharma. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about just teachings. All mm -hmm. things, basically, all things yeah. are, uh -huh. are, are not eternal or not mm -hmm. permanent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what? Karma. Yeah, it always exists. What yeah, always if we don't resolve it, it's always with us right. in this time, in this time or the next life. Yeah, yeah. If we don't resolve it. It uh -huh. still exists. Yeah. Right, and so we have to perform good deeds to help offset our karma. That's the only surest way. Uh, also, we need to help support the Tao community. Okay, and dedicate ourselves for the goods of others. Okay. And we should let Buddha nature guide us. And we all should manifest doubt in us so we can have uh, some kind of impact on this world and finally awake ourselves and help others become awakened okay this concludes my class if i say anything wrong <laughs> i ask for forgiveness of buddha and for your correction thank you